how you doing uh, let's first remove the screws uh, so that we can remove the back panel and these are the screws you have to remove So uh, hi guys this is the internal section of the laptop this is the place for hard disk here either you can install an ssd uh, like this sata ssd like this or you can install a uh, normal hard drive as per hp this laptop can support up to 1 tb of hard drive right now i do not have a hard disk with me also i do not have any plans to buy one for this laptop so in this video i am going to uh, use this sata ssd and i am going to add this uh, ssd into this laptop if if you are planning to upgrade uh, like an hard disk then the procedure is same because uh, both have same size same slot and even same connector same pins uh, in in my next video i will be showing you how to install ram here two ram slot i am not going to open it right now this is an samsung hgb 3200 mh ram and this is a nvme ssd slot this model comes with 500 gb intel ssd and in case if your model doesn't have ssd in the uh, nvme ssd and you want to upgrade that then you can open back panel like i have shown in this video then you can uh, remove th th this screw uh, then uh, take out the top uh, metal panel and then you can sl uh, slide the ssd in then put back this panel and screw it if you want the detailed in uh, video then you can watch any other youtube video about installing nvme ssd so you can get to know in detail how to install an nvme ssd opening and closing part of the back panel i will show in this video it to add an hard drive or an sata ssd we need to remove these four screws adding this uh, hard drive or sata ssd is uh, the most difficult part because we need to remove these uh, screw and to remove that screw we have to remove this cable unplug this cable from the motherboard and when when you are doing so make sure you are doing it gently and without damaging any part in the motherboard also there may be another ways to remove that screw and i am which i am not sure and after that you can uh, remove that cable and now we now this we do not have any use for this case and you can remove this uh, plastic case with an hard drive or an sata ssd which you, whichever you may prefer uh, I, but you should know that um, the sata the sata ssd is always much more faster than hard drive and it will consume very much less power so using an ssd can get you more hours of battery backup that's the main reason i am not upgrading with an hard drive now carefully attach the cable and and then put it back to the hard disk bay uh, now we have to screw it with, with the same screw which we have removed earlier uh, and you have to be careful not to damage any other parts in the laptop or motherboard now we can plug the cable back in and make sure to put the wire in the same way it was before now let's put the back panel back
and after that we need to slightly apply pressure on all our sides that the back panel will get locked into the body like it was before and I'm not going to put the screws back now let's first board the lap up and check if the storage uh, is showing Uh, the first local disk is a 500 GB Intel SSD that came with this laptop and uh, the second disk you see right here is the SSD I added now actually this is the SSD I am I was using in my desktop and that's why you see you may have seen the windows files there anyway if you are adding a new SSD then the free space might not be shown there instead there may there uh, in, instead there may be an uh, disk and if you click double click on that it may ask your permission to format itself and if you click ok or agree then it will format and will show the free space in my next video which i will post tomorrow i will show you how to add 8 gb more ram to this laptop now since everything is working fine let's put the screws back in and thanks for watching and see you in next video